San Francisco Bay was once ringed by 200,000 acres of tidal wetlands. In the last century, 90% of those wetlands have been lost. But a sea change is happening here at Sears Point, where a 1,000 acre tidal marsh restoration project is evolving. Sears Point was once surrounded on three sides by wetlands, but in the late 1800s, levees were built and the wetlands drained to make way for farms and infrastructure. Marshland was viewed as an impediment to progress instead of a valuable resource. With the onset of climate change and sea level rise, attitudes have begun to change. Wetlands filter pollutants, sequester carbon, create a buffer against storm surges, and provide critical habitat for countless plants and animals, including endangered species. Sonoma Land Trust purchased the property in 2004 with the idea of restoring the land on a watershed scale from the rolling hills of the uplands all the way to the bay. After 10 years of planning in partnership with Ducks Unlimited, this project is now changing the map of the bay. Sears Point is situated on the north shore of San Pablo Bay at the southernmost reach of Sonoma County. Historically part of a vast expanse of wetlands, the project area focuses on 1,000 acres south of Highway 37, seen highlighted here. From the spring of 2014, construction of the new levee, channels, and marsh mounds continued up until October 25, 2015, when the restoration community came together to see the levee breached and the tides returned to Sears Point. So come visit Sears Point, hike the new two and a half mile addition to the Bay Trail to see the sea change for yourself.